In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to change the blinking frequency of the onboard LED using a pot meter. For this tutorial you'll need a breadboard, an Arduino, a pot meter and three male to male jumper wires. The pot meter has three different pins. The ground, the input voltage and the output voltage. Let's say we have 5 volt on the input. If our pot meter is halfway, we receive 2.5 volts on the center pin. In this way, we can control the voltage by just turning our pot meter. To build our circuit, I start with connecting the 5 volts to the first position on the breadboard like this. Secondly, I'm going to connect the ground to pin 5 of my breadboard to the ground on the Arduino and the center one we're going to connect with analog in pin number 2. In the previous tutorials we've used these digital pins but here there are analog pins. These analog pins enable us to read the value between 0 and 1023, which is very useful for our blinking light. Then, last but not least, the potentiometer. Pin it in the first, in the third, and in the fifth. And I put it all the way to the left. So our circuit is ready. I'm now going to show you the Arduino code. So this is the code we're going to use to control our blinking frequency. I'm going to discuss it with you line by line, starting with this pot pin variable. It's an integer and it's uh, defined as 2, since we connected the pot meter to analog 2. We have the LED. And the LED pin is the LED built-in, since we're using the built-in LED. The pot fail is the potentiometer's value. And we started with zero, and when we start reading it will be updated. This is something new, the serial monitor. We tell in the setup, which is executed only once, to begin a serial communication line with the Arduino at a speed of 9600 baud. When the Arduino is powered, you're able to see the value of the potentiometer, I'll show you later. We say the LED pin is an output pin, and the LED pin was defined as the built-in LED. Then we have the loop, which runs infinitely. We start by updating the pot fail variable, and we do an analog read. Remember that we first use digital write for the LED and this is an analog read, which means you read an analog value between 0 and 1023 on the potentiometer pin. And then we print this value to the serial monitor. Then we write to the LED high, so it turns on, and then we add a delay. And the delay is stored in the variable potentiometer value, which is the value we've read. So the maximum delay we can have is the 1023, we're seeing here as the range of an analog read. Then we write the low to the LED, so it turns off and wait again for the potentiometer value. Well, when I upload this sketch, to my Arduino, you'll see that I can read the analog value and that happens here. You have print and print lines, so this prints a new line. So I'm uploading this to my Arduino and now I'm going to tools and say serial monitor. And now you see the value of my potentiometer is 530. But when I started turning my meter, or my potentiometer, you see it's changing. I turn it left and right. When I go to the most right as possible, it's 1023. 
And when you go back to the left, it ends with zero. I'm now going to show you what it looks like when I turn on the potentiometer on the Arduino. So I've uploaded the code to my Arduino and as you can see here, the LED is blinking. Now when I start turning my potentiometer to the right, you'll see uh, the frequency is getting higher and higher till it's almost on. Now when I turn it backwards you see it's slowing down. So now we have control over the, the blinking frequency of our LED. That's it for today. See you in the next episode.